This island is called Jabuka. In Croatian, that means apple. But the name of this tiny Adriatic island now means more. It signifies hope for a healthier Mediterranean sea. The almost 3,000 square kilometers of the Jabuka Pomo pit area are a vital spawning ground for hake and langoustine. It has been protected from overfishing since 2017, when scientists, fishermen, NGOs and the authorities fought for a breakthrough agreement. Today, Coast Guards patrol the area, enforcing restrictions. The unique biodiversity of the Mediterranean Sea has been declining for decades. European research shows that a third of the Mediterranean fish population has been lost over the past 50 years. Pollution and climate change do certainly play a role, but the key cause behind this decline seems to be extensive overfishing. Protecting key spawning grounds can turn things around as long as bans are enforced. Previous efforts to safeguard Yabuka Pomo Pit had failed. Fishing continued and stocks were dangerously low. The agreement was reached when all parties realized effective restrictions can benefit everyone. Most of this zone is completely closed for fishing. The vessels are only allowed into a small adjacent area with special authorization. This fishing trawler hauls its nets in an authorized area, just outside the invisible no-take zone perimeter. This is where you find the best catch. The fishery inspectors conduct a routine check to make sure everything is in order. Their speedboat easily catches up with the trawler and the officers are welcomed on board. They measure some of the catch. Fish of spawning size and juveniles must be protected. Special instruments are used to check that the fishing gear complies with regulations. There are rules for the size of the net openings. Holes that are too small are an infraction, and the fishermen must suffer the consequences of this. Inspectors check the boat papers and the electronic logbook that contains a detailed record of all its fishing trips. Fishermen say they don't mind all the checks. They can see that the restrictions are working because their catches are growing again. We're still getting much less fish today than we did in the 90s, but over the past year the catches have been improving, especially species like hake, which must be a result of the Yabuka pit restrictions. The inspectors leave without finding any infractions, but checks continue. Every boat working in this area, big or small, must have a VMS, a vessel monitoring system that sends its real-time coordinates to this government office in Zagreb. Specialists at the Croatian Directorate of Fisheries have developed new software to help track fishing boats. A click on the electronic map reveals detailed information from any vessel, including its precise trajectory at sea. Crossing the line into the prohibited area will be detected. It's a semi-automatic system that works 24 hours a day. It gets all the data from VMS and from electronic logbook, combines it, and we get alerts when something is wrong. Colleagues here in the Fisheries Monitoring Center report this to the inspection. The monitoring center also works with the military and receives live video from surveillance drones that operate over the sea. They can reveal evidence of wrongdoing from kilometers away. The drones and vessels used for fishery controls are supported by the European Maritime and Fisheries Fund. The EU considers stopping illegal fishing a key objective. The European Fisheries Control Agency coordinates inspection, surveillance and checks in these EU waters, working with all the region's countries to improve the overall situation in the Mediterranean. It's necessary to improve the exchange of data to improve the tracking of ships through the installation of satellite tracking systems. There's also a need to strengthen control plans and risk analysis, and of course to carry out control operations with full cooperation between the southern and northern Mediterranean states. 
Researchers at the Institute of Oceanography and Fisheries have already analysed data from marine surveys, commercial landings and international studies. They conclude that the key fish populations are recovering faster than expected. It seems that protecting a small fraction of the sea has triggered a knock-on effect throughout the Adriatic. The restrictions have worked, in part because they were not imposed by the authorities, but emerged as a joint initiative between scientists and fishermen. These decisions didn't come from above. They were agreed upon by fishermen and scientists. Now the fishermen see these measures as their own. Before it was hard to imagine, but today fishermen come to our institute and suggest other similar measures. They see that they work. It's a win-win. Marine biodiversity is recovering, consumers are enjoying a growing choice of fresh seafood and industry is making a profit from increasingly abundant and valuable catches. Most of the seafood sold at this historic fish market in Split comes from the Yabuka area. Since they closed the Yubuka pit, the fish around it have grown bigger. Take a look at this hake. We're catching big ones like this quite often now. In the past, that was rare. Look at this angler fish. These also used to be much smaller. A healthy sea is vital for people living on the islands. The town of Kamesia, on the island of Viz, some 70 kilometers east of Yabuka, relies on tourism and small-scale fishing. A few years ago, the catches fell so low that going out to sea on a small boat was no longer worthwhile. But today, the pessimism of that period seems to have gone. There are new boats and new fishermen. More and more young people are choosing this career path. Now they see a future in the fisheries. According to recent studies, protecting just 5% more of the ocean would increase future catches on a global scale by at least 20%. The improving catches prove that us fishermen, scientists and the administration can work together, not just on the creation but also on the Italian side. By restricting one small part of the sea, we can preserve the fish for future generations, for our children. Thank you.